Please excuse the state of the mouse enclosure behind me. I am in the process of cleaning them out. They're not in there at the moment, but it looks like a tornado has hit. But on the topic of cleaning rats and mice, I wanted to show you specifically how I clean certain items because I've realized in previous videos where I've been cleaning out the mouse enclosure or the rat cage, I've not really gone into depth of how I clean out fabric items. So hammocks, towels, bath mats, or wooden items too. So gonna cover that in depth in today's video. But let's start with the easier of the two and show you how I clean fabric things like the hammocks. So when it comes to washing the hammocks, the first thing I do is shake out any bits. So bedding, hair, poop, you're not gonna get all of this out though. So one of the best things I've bought to stop all of this going into my washing machine is one of these wash bags. Now, these I think are aimed at horses and dogs, but they work really well for small animals too. So I just have this hung up in my pet room and fill this over time. And it does contain the smell pretty well until you're ready to wash all of the hammocks and fabric items. So another thing that I place in here alongside hammocks and towels and bath mats is the IKEA tie holders. I've got a few questions over the years of how to wash these. Just put them into your washing machine. Over time, after a couple of washes, they are gonna start to fall apart, but this works pretty well at getting out the smell and keeping them nice and white and clean. So they also go into the bag too. When it comes to actually washing the fabric items, you can play it safe if you want to and just use something like white vinegar. I prefer to use non-bio detergent and I've never had an issue with it, but if you have really sensitive rats, you can just wash these on a really, really hot wash. Then obviously I just place all of this into the washing machine and let it do its thing. Afterwards there is gonna be a lot of bedding and hair and other bits inside of the wash bag. All I do is let this dry out and then turn it inside out, shake it outside and it's ready to go again. So when it comes to washing wooden items, so houses, branches, or bigger ropes that won't fit into the washing machine, I just put these all into the bathtub. And if you don't have a bath, if you just have a shower cubicle, you can just put these into a storage tub and do this in the shower or do this outside on a nice day. So I just throw everything into the tub and then cover this in a 50-50 water white vinegar solution. And because there were so many things in the bathtub, I just ended up pouring all of this over the items. And then you basically want to try to pressure wash these. So I just put the shower um, attachment onto the highest setting and blast this with water. This kind of blasts all of the poop and other things that are stuck on the hair. You might have to move things around slightly, but this kind of pressure washes all of the dirt and pee and poop off, and you can see how gross the water gets. I have to drain this a couple of times and then redo this until the water is not a murky brown color. <laughs> but yeah, really shows you just how disgusting some wooden items can get without you even realizing. Some items have things stuck and dried on, like dried mouse poop, for example. I do keep this brush in my bathroom, and that can be really handy just to really scrub things and get all of the dirt and pee and poop off. And then obviously afterwards, I do thoroughly clean the bathroom and the sink after doing this, but just keeping this scrub brush and having a designated one, obviously not to use with anything else in your house, can be really handy. And again, you can see just how disgusting and dirty the water coming off this is. So definitely, definitely needed doing. So when it comes to drying all of the items you've just washed, I've lost the clip of me doing this back in summer when the weather was good, but I just throw everything outside onto the grass and let the sun do its job, obviously with drying everything. 
but this does really help to leave everything without much of a smell at all and sometimes even on days like today where it's raining that can really work in your favour because if you have an item you've scrubbed and cleaned and it still has an ammonia smell to it I will just throw this outside hope for the best leave it up to the weather and that works really well to clean this and leave it with no smell at all so sometimes when you've kind of got something that you think might need throwing away just throw it outside, see what happens, and sometimes that can save it. So I often do that a lot, even in bad weather like this. I will put it outside and let the rain do the job. But that is it for today's video, just a short one, but hopefully helpful if you have been struggling with knowing how to wash your rat's hammocks or how to clean your mouse's wooden items. And as much as I sit here and promote that rats and mice are not these scary, disgusting animals, between you and me, sometimes they can be pretty gross and it's important to know when to just cut your losses and throw things away and replace them. But I hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!